Welcome to Ben Church, where we believe that every person is a beloved child of God, and wherever you are on your faith journey, you are loved and affirmed here at Ben Church. Gracious and loving God, we gather today in your holy presence, seeking to worship you in spirit and in truth. As we reflect on the teachings of Jesus in the Gospel of Mark, open our hearts and minds to understand what it means to live out an authentic faith. Help us to move beyond mere traditions and rituals and instead embody your love and grace in all that we do. In your holy name we pray, amen. Please join me in the prayer for illumination. Gracious God, as we turn to your word, may your spirit rest upon us. Help us to be steadfast in our hearing, in our speaking, in our believing, and in our living. Amen. Our scripture reading this morning comes from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 7. I'll be reading verses 1 through 8, 4 through 15, and 21 through 23. Now when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around him, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders. And they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash. And there are also many other traditions that they observe, the washing of cups and pots and bronze kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, why do your disciples not walk according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? He said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites, as it is written, these People honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human tradition. Then he called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile, but the things that come out are what defile. For it is from within, from the human heart, that evil intentions come, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, wickedness, deceit, debauchery, envy, slander, pride, and folly. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. Holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God. So today we have something a little bit different. We have an online homily that's different than what the sermon is and is being given by Jack, Pastor Jackie. Summer schedules and commitments meant that we couldn't record Pastor Jackie in time to get this video prepared. So it falls on me to provide a few words for this online service. And for that, I'm grateful, and I'm grateful that you're here watching it. And I want to take just a few minutes to reflect on our summer series of Radical Resilience. This summer, we have heard some very powerful personal stories. And I know there are many other stories that can be told from throughout this community by almost all of us. For me, three the themes emerged from the series. Faith, family, and friends, the three Fs. As someone once said, it takes a village. Resilience is a shared journey. We cannot expect to do this alone. And no matter the pain we experience, 
that pain can build a strong wall all around us and it can separate us. So let's talk about that pain and how these sh stories have shown us a path around the wall. First, we can turn to our Bibles. And there are many examples of resilience within our Bibles. We have Job's journey of immense suffering. We have Jesus's time in the desert and the temptations he faced. And we have Paul's perseverance and resilience throughout his ongoing persecutions. So as Jesus showed us, resilience is a series of choices. Imagine if he had taken the easy path that he was presented. But resilience isn't easy. It can seem unnatural. And there are times it seems easier to withdraw than it is to withstand the pain or even to see how we can bounce back from it. There are roadblocks to resilience that we all face. Fear, anger, self-pity, and aloneness. And while all these feelings are completely natural, it is only with the help of the three F's that we can overcome these natural tendencies. Our faith and the biblical examples of resilience can show us a way, a way that's tried and true. And as family, we can share in that pain and suffering. We can pull together and rely on one another, even for the most mundane of tasks. As friends, we can overcome the tendency to back away and leave someone alone. We can recognize the situation and, if nothing else, be present. And then there is empathy. That may be the one tool that's universal through all these stories. Empathy is different. It is understanding, not pity. It is quiet. It is not necessarily saying just the right thing, but re listening and then responding to what we hear. When my daughter Kimberly was so sick, she stayed in the ICU for weeks. I relied upon the empathy of her medical team as well as friends and family. They were present, they listened, they offered comfort, even when things were the darkest. When she died in a April, I was full of anger and I was blaming everything and everyone. And much of that was aimed inward. I must have failed as a father in just the way her heart had failed her. I couldn't heal her. And then I began to sense the empathy of others. And even if it was just for a moment at first, that response opened a window. It allowed some time for breathing, for healing, for me to experience my faith again. So what can we take away from this series on resilience and the stories we've heard? First, it is important to know that we are not alone. From Job and Jesus to Paul and the other saints to our neighbors, family, and friends, there are people who can be examples to us. If we are the ones going through it, we can hold our faith, family, and friends close. It may seem that we are alone, but as we heard through the videos, they are all there for us. Resilience isn't easy, nor is it quick, but it is a way forward, a path out of darkness into the light. So please hear this prayer. Heavenly Father, as we conclude this time of reflection, we come before you with grateful hearts. We thank you for the strength you provide in times of difficulty, for the resilience that sustains us, and for the hope that leads us forward. We thank you for this church family and our community of friends that surround us with love and care. Lord, we ask you for your continued guidance as we navigate through our challenges. Grant us the wisdom to learn from our trials, the courage to rise when we fall, and the perseverance to keep moving forward. May your grace renew our spirits and your love be the source of our recovery. Help us to trust in your plan, even when that path is unclear, 
Strengthen our faith so we may find peace in your promises and comfort in your presence. We lift up those who are weary and burdened, asking that you surround them with your healing touch. Restore their minds, bodies, and soul, and remind them that in you there is always hope. May your light shine through us as we walk the road of resilience and recovery together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the spirit of Christ's teaching, let us open our hearts and lives to one another. Authentic religion calls us to love, to share, and to support one another. As we come together in community, let us share our joys, our burdens, and our gifts, knowing that in this sharing, we make God's love visible. We come ready to give and receive, to support and be supported as the body of Christ. There are many ways we may share. For online giving, you may scan the QR code for direct access to church giving or text GIVE, G-I-V-E, to the number provided. You may also mail a check to our secure mailbox here at the church. Please join with me as we give thanks for the gifts we will receive this week. Generous God, you have blessed us with so much. We are thankful for the offerings we will receive this week. May these gifts be used to further your kingdom, bringing justice, mercy, and love to a world in need. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Go forth into the world, living out the authentic faith that Jesus taught us. Let your lives be a testament to God's love, justice, and mercy. May the Spirit guide you, the love of Christ surround you, and the grace of God sustain you, now and always. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. <music>